In this video, we are going to talk about a paradox called the Simpsons Paradox. Just to be clear, this has nothing to do with the TV show. It's just the name of the statistician who discovered it. We'll just talk very briefly about it, and if you want to dig further into the issue, then you are more than welcome to watch other videos we have created for you. So, to make you grasp intuitively what it is all about, let me put you in a type of situation where a good understanding of the paradox could be useful. Your grandpa has been tested positive to a virus, let's say the coronavirus, and you need to bring him to the hospital and fast. And there are two hospitals next to you. You want to choose the one where he is the most likely to survive, of course. We base our reasoning on the assumptions that you are not trying to inherit from him, by the way. So, the outbreak of the virus has just begun and you have data on what happened in these two hospitals over the course of the past two weeks, and that's it. And you know that the proportion of people whose condition improved over the week, that you know for both hospitals. So we make the assumptions that the quality of the hospital plays a role in the improvement of the patients. And you are looking for the hospital with the overall highest improvement rates, recovery rates. So, in the first week, you hear that the status of the patients in Hospital A improved in 60% of the cases, while it reached 90% of the cases for Hospital B. Okay, so with the, that information in mind, I'd go for Hospital B, I guess. But let's look uh, what happened uh, during the second week. Well, the percentages seem to be in favor of Hospital B again there was a 30% uh, improvement for Hospital B and only a 10% improvement for Hospital A, this time during the second week. If you just have that data, you'd immediately settle for Hospital B. Two weeks in a row, it displayed better percentages of recovery. It leaves no room to doubt, but um, I, I, I would choose Hospital B if I only had those data. But right before uh, going to the hospital, you remember that statistics can be tricky and you stop for a minute, you call a friend uh, that you, who knows all, who have all the data from the hospital and who provides you with the statistics. And you try to have the overall percentages when the two weeks are combined, not just week one or just week two, but week one plus week two. So he gives you the data and surprise, the trend seems to be opposite. Now the stats are 50% of, of recovery for Hospital A, the one that you believe was the bad one, and 35% for Hospital B, the one you, that you believe was the good one. And they both treated the exact same number of patients, 1,100. Wait, what the hell happened? Something's wrong. You, you must have made a mistake, a confusion was while reporting the numbers. Actually, no, there was no confusion. There was no mistake. So you have to stop for a while to understand what happened. What happened is that you cannot rely only on percentages to make decisions. You need to have the exact numbers of patients for each week and for each hospital. During the first week when Hospital A had a 60% improvement, it was over 1,000 patients, while the 90% of Hospital B was on 100 patients, and then number of patients that was received in the second week was this time very different, with Hospital B having many more admissions and having performance not even close to the ones that Hospital A had during the first week. Overall, when you sum up the numbers, the decision is clearly in favor of Hospital A. I'll let you have a quick look at the data so that you can draw conclusions yourself. So, same number of Patients overall, 1,100, but very number, different numbers between week one and week two. And you cannot overlook such differences. The differences could come from the fact that there's a hidden variable, like the proportion of young and old people, that differs considerably between both hospitals and between weeks. Young people have a stronger probability to recover quickly, and their existence is one of the reasons that, that could explain uh, the paradox. So here are a few takeaway messages. You have to take into account the number of people involved, the number of individuals, not just the proportions. And there are often hidden variables. Maybe it was not the same proportion of young old people in both hospitals. 
So next step for you is to understand how it translates into graph, since you can detect the Simpsons parallax just by looking at the shape of data, but we will let you search on the internet and look for video uh, if you want to go uh, to that level of understanding.